Welcome back into Victorious Tarot. In this reading, we're going to take a look into Sebastian Rogers' mother's energy. I'd like to take a look into her past, present, and future energy. Sebastian Rogers, Sebastian Rogers, Sebastian Rogers. Ancestors, what can you tell us about Sebastian's mother's past, present, and future energy? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Needy, overly sensitive, insecure. Seven of Pentacles. This can tell us about planted seeds or rewarded efforts. In the past, she seems like she's off emotionally. In the present, it seems like whatever it is, whatever it is that she put work into, she seems to be or feel rewarded for this. Or she's planted some type of seeds. Or let's just hope she didn't bury anything. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse tells us about a lost opportunity in the future position. I really hope they find this kid alive. Two of Wands in the reverse tells us about delays or bad planning in the past. Hmm. The temperance in the reverse tells us about impatience. It could tell us about energies not blending. Knight of Wands in the reverse tells us about that charming, energetic, in and out energy. The Hermit in the upright tells us about being alone. Lord, I really hope she did not. I'm not going to say she. I'm going to hope this child is not buried somewhere. King of Wands in the upright. The tower in the reverse. King of Wands in the upright. He's a very charming energy. He's a leader. And there's something here about avoiding a tower moment. We're reading the mother's energy. So there's something here about... Her not being her best self in the past, bad planning something, something was out of balance, or she wasn't getting along with somebody, or she lost her patience with somebody or something. We have her here in the present moment, like she's been rewarded for something, or this could be something planted, and I'm really hoping it's not her kid, but there's that Knight of Wands energy being alone. In the future position, there's something here about a lost opportunity and trying to avoid that. And it's looking like with this King of, Wands, King of Wands, trying to avoid a disastrous moment with this person. Her energy is starting to rub me the wrong way like it was rubbing me with Jennifer. I don't understand people. How can you be alone when you have those faces that you gave life to with you? How can you be so alone? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Unstable. That came out in the in her in, her, in the last reading for Sebastian. This unstable energy. So I'm starting to wonder if she was the unstable energy. Like maybe she snapped from all the pressures of caring for this child who needs some type of extra care. Page of Cups. That's her kid. That's her kid, and even under the Seven of Pentacles is still the planted seeds or the rewarded efforts. <sighs> Two of Pentacles in the upright tells us about multiple priorities. Was she dealing with too much and she had to put something down? Just looking crazy. Hierophant in the upright. Usually on this card, I see the older person talking to the two children. This is a group effort. 
maybe school, church, eight of swords. This is that feeling stuck, either mentally or physically. Feeling like a hostage. This could talk about being abducted. But I don't understand. I'm not understanding. Ignoring the call. Eight of Wands. And the reverse tells us about waiting and delays. No communication, no anything. Because he's alone. Of course, he's not going to communicate. He has no phone, right? But it's like she seems to know all of this. And she's ignoring it. Ignoring him anyway. It, what if she has him somewhere with someone? And this is her way of like getting a break. Ten of Swords in the reverse tells us about recovering from a traumatic situation. The Fool in the reverse tells us about that recklessness or risk taking. What did she do? Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups in the reverse. What did she do? So my thing is, I don't know if it's just me or other people. I'm just so wrapped up in other cases. But it seemed like the moment for me that made me question the parents was how this kid just walked out. But was the door open? Was the windows open? How did he get out? He didn't take any shoes. He's dressed in all black. <sighs> According to you, he could get from A to B, which is your house to his father's house. In the dark, could he do that on foot? And it just seems like we got the same, almost the same story from Madeline's mom. When she was asked, does Madeline know how to get from her house to school? And she's like, if she's in a car, she could point it out. Listen, that's what I have. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.